everyone, welcome back to Actual English. My name is Jennifer Clyde. It's a wonderful pleasure to have you joining me. Now, this whole week we'll be talking about our childhood, what we were like in elementary school, perhaps, and then in middle and high school. Also, what interested us in、uh, university and what we did to prepare for jobs. And then we'll also finish off by talking about the future after retirement. So, first of all, we'll be focusing on elementary school today in lesson six. What were you like in elementary school? In grades one through six, that is, or one through five?、Um, of course, depending on the country. But as for me, I was a very energetic little girl. I used to fight with all the boys in school, and I used to win. So, I was not a very shy girl back in elementary school.、Uh, I wasn't exactly a mama's boy.、Mm. I used to like to run around back then, play with the boys. I was also part of the brownie, or what we also call Girl Scouts. Were you a part of Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts as well? These are a little of the few things we can talk about when we talk about our elementary school years or our childhood. So, are you ready? Let's begin with today's actual talk. Peter, hello. You know, I saw a picture of your new baby boy. Yes, and he looks very much like you physically. He's very chubby, Rachel. What <laughs> no, are you trying to say? No, not the chubby part, but you know, his <laughs> eyes and his nose and his mouth. He looks very similar to you. Yeah, I think physically he's similar to me, but like emotional wise and personality wise. He's quite different. Really? Yeah. What were you like when you were younger? When I first went to elementary school,、uh, we call it primary school in the UK. Okay. Actually,、um, I cried so much that first day,、oh. you know, being away from my mom and stuff like that. And I was a really shy kid. Okay. You know, were was, you a mama's boy? I was a big time mama's、oh. boy. I'm an only child, and I didn't like to make a fuss or you know disturb anyone or anything like that. But Geo. He likes shouting and screaming and getting everyone's attention.、Oh. So I think emotionally we're very different. But at school, yeah, primary school, I remember the first few years. It's really tough to make friends if you're really shy. That's true.、Um, did you have the same problem at all? You know, I think I was very talkative when I was younger <laughs> because I was the younger, the youngest.、Oh, wow. um, and I think when you have older siblings,、mm -hmm. you end up、uh, learning how to talk quicker、sure. and uh, uh, just your vocabulary. Grows faster, so、yeah. um, I was very talkative, but I did cry a lot, like you too. <laughs> I was a crybaby, and I it was because I always wanted to be with my mom. So、uh, being she, the youngest as well, <laughs> yeah, I think so.、Um, and you can relate to that, as you said,、sure. you were an only child. But every time my mom left me with another family member, I would just cry, cry, cry. Oh dear! So I was really disliked by many of my family members. Well, I really hope for Gio's sake that he's not like us. He doesn't cry so much when he first goes to school. I、That's, hope it will be okay. I hope so too. Is he? <laughs> do you think he's very similar to your wife's personality? Then he's got half, half, and I think、oh. that's great for kids to take a bit from each parent. Exactly. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Did you enjoy the little conversation between Peter and Rachel? Well, of course,、uh, these two were talking about their childhood, their elementary school years, but not so much about school. They talked about the personality as they were a little girl or a little boy. They also talked about. Who they took after looks wise, so they even talked about their appearance. Now let's find out what else they talked about through our actual talk. Here we go, line by line. First of all, Rachel began by saying, "Peter, I saw a picture of your baby boy." Okay, and he looks very much like you physically. Let's take a look at this. First of all, I saw a picture of your baby boy. So she's obviously talking about. Peter's son, right? Okay, and she says, and he looks very much like you. Okay, he looks like you. We all know that, but physically. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to point out here is when we see a star there, it means we'll be taking a look at that word or that phrase or that expression in just a bit. Okay. So physically, we're talking about our appearance. Our looks, okay, our outer looks, and then Peter says he's very chubby. Rachel, what are you trying to say? 
Yes. So he meaning he's talking about his son. He's chubby. Meaning this is just a cute way of saying fat. Okay. Now if you say to someone, "Wow, you're fat," it could actually hurt their feelings. Okay. So if you say that somebody is chubby in Korean, exactly, it is tung tung hada. Okay. Not tung tung hada, but tung tung hada. It's a cute way of saying that you are a little bit overweight. So he says, "What are you talking about? What are you trying to say? I'm thin." Rachel says, "No, not the chubby part, but his eyes and his nose and his mouth." So she's basically saying that his little baby boy takes after Peter. Peter says, "Yeah, I think physically he's similar to me, but emotional-wise and personality-wise, he's quite different." So once again, Peter is saying physically, when we're talking about our outer looks, appearance, yeah, he looks like me. He does, but emotional wise and personality wise, he is a bit different. Let's take a look at what these actually mean. First of all, we talked about physically. Which means appearance or looks, and also something something wise, such as appearance wise or even looks wise. You can say physically, we have a lot of similarities. Meaning, on the outside, from what you see on the outside, we are very similar in many ways. What about this? Their appearance or their looks are similar. Simply put, they look very similar. 외모가 같다는 말이죠. Looks wise, I take after my mother. Now, if you add the wise here, it means in a manner, in some sort of way. Okay, looks wise, I take after my mother. Now, let's take a look at personality wise to help you understand a bit more. So, personality wise, personality wise, in a way, in a certain manner. Personality wise, we're very much alike. Okay. All right. Now back to the conversation. Rachel says, "What were you like when you were younger?" Okay, younger meaning because he is still young, but younger than now. He says, "When I first went to elementary school, we called it primary school in the UK." So he's talking about what elementary school is called in the UK. So next time when you hear primary school, it means. Elementary school. Okay, so we say elementary school, but in、uh, perhaps Europe, right? In the UK, they call it primary school. So he says, in primary school, I cried so much. Right, that first day, I was really a shy kid. He was a shy boy. And then Rachel says, were you a mama's boy? I'm sure you all may know this already, but let's take a look at what it actually means. Okay, I was a big time mama's boy. So he's saying I was a mama's boy, but a big time meaning not time wise, but big time here means a huge. Okay, he was a very serious. He was a huge mama's boy. I'm an only child. Okay, when you say that you are the only child, if you don't have any siblings, you would say I am. An only child, never the only child, and I don't like to disturb anyone or anything like that. But Chiho is his son's name. Okay, he likes shouting and screaming and getting everybody's attention or everyone's attention. Remember, they were talking about looks wise. Yes, his son takes after Peter, but he said emotional wise. Or even personality-wise, were very different. So, Peter was a very shy boy when he was little. But Jiho, his son, he's different. He likes to shout, he likes to scream, and he likes getting everyone's attention. Meaning, look at me, look at me. Okay, pay attention to me. And then he says, so I think emotionally, we're very different. He stresses it one more time. All right. Now and then, Rachel says that's true. Let's break it up one more time. Remember, mama's boy, mama boy. I think that's what we call it in Korea, mama boy. But in English, remember to add the apostrophe and the s. So it's either mother's boy or mummy's boy, as in the UK they call mom, mum, right? M U M. So mummy's boy or mama's boy, mummy, mama. Okay. So. Uh, a man, 
a guy who is excessively attached to his mother at a certain age. This is the definition of a mama's boy. It also means, of course,、uh, mother bonded. We also say mother bonded. But in case of a girl, you can say she is a father's girl or she is a papa's girl. Okay. So yes, remember the difference is mother's boy, father's girl, mama's boy, papa's girl. Moving back. Now Peter asks, did you have the same problem at all? Now Rachel talks about herself. Let's take a look. She says, I think when you have older siblings, meaning older brothers and sisters, you end up learning how to talk quicker, and your vocabulary grows faster. That's right.、Um, that's true. If you have an older brother or an older sister, they talk to you. Um, and they even use more difficult vocabulary, so you do learn to talk quicker, meaning faster, at an earlier age. And of course, your vocabulary grows, develops faster as well. You learn more words. So I was very talkative. What does talkative mean? To be talkative means to talk a lot. So if you have a friend, or if you Seem to talk all the time, constantly talking and talking and talking. You can say that you are talkative, or he or she is talkative. But I did cry a lot, like you too. I was a crybaby. What is a crybaby?、Hmm. A crybaby is, of course, a baby, a little boy or a girl that cries a lot. But even an adult can be a crybaby. A person that complains a lot all the time, a person that cries easily or whines a lot, you can call that person a crybaby. And it was because I always wanted to be with my mom. So it sounds like she was also a very shy girl as well. Now Peter says, and you being the youngest, meaning because she had siblings. Rachel says, every time. My mom left me with another family member. I would just cry, cry, and cry. So she is stressing the fact that she was a cry baby, right? So she says, so I was really disliked by many of my family members. Meaning, a lot of my family members did not like me. They disliked me. Okay, let's move on. And then Peter finally says, "Well, I really hope for Jiho's sake that he's not like us. I hope he doesn't cry so much, right, when he first goes to school." So, we're taking a look at for somebody's sake. Let's check out what that actually means. So, for the sake of someone, that's an idiomatic expression, or. For the sake of something, so basically means for the purpose or the benefit of someone or something. Here's an example. You can say, "I often try to use easy vocabulary for the sake of the viewers that find the lectures difficult." So here it is: for the sake of so and so. Simply put, for the benefit of the viewers. For the sake of the viewers means for the benefit. Of the viewers, all right, okay, and also for one's sake, it means for one's good as well, for one's own benefit. You shouldn't thank me. I did it for your sake. I did it for you. I did it to help you. I did it for your benefit. Okay, let's move on. And then Rachel says, "I hope so too."、Mm, meaning, I hope that when I later on have a child, he or she doesn't cry when they first go to school. And then she asks, "Do you think he is very similar to your wife?" Then, similar to somebody, meaning to take after somebody. And he says, "He's got half half, and I think that is great for kids to take a bit from." Somebody from each parent. Nobody's perfect, and he ends the conversation. But here we have half half. He's got. He has half half. Hmm. What could that mean? Let's take a look. Now, fifty fifty is another way of saying that. Half A, half B is another way. It means fifty percent A and fifty percent B. Okay, part A and part B. So, for example, you can say all the participants had a fifty fifty chance of passing. So, for example, back to the talk, Rachel asked Peter. So, is your little boy, your baby boy, similar to your wife? He said, "Well, he's fifty percent like my wife and fifty percent like me." 
It's a very long sentence, so you could simply say, "Well, he's half half." 반반이야반반닮았어 Or you can use fifty fifty and say, "Well, he's fifty fifty." Fifty, my wife, and fifty, me. Okay, simply put. That brings us to an end to today's actual talk, everyone. Let's listen one more time with the subtitles. Peter. Hello. You know, I saw a picture of your new baby boy. Yes. And he looks very much like you physically. He's very chubby, Rachel. What <laughs> no, are you trying to say? No, not the chubby part, but you know, his <laughs> eyes and his nose and his mouth. He looks very similar to you. Yeah, I think physically he's similar to me, but like emotional wise and personality wise, he's quite different. Really? Yeah. What were you like when you were younger? When I first went to elementary school,、uh, we call it primary school in the UK. Okay. Actually,、um, I cried so much that first day,、oh. you know, being away from my mom and stuff like that, and I was a really shy kid. Okay. You know, were I, you a mama's boy? I was a big time mama's、oh. boy. I'm an only child, and I didn't like to make a fuss or you know disturb anyone or anything like that. But Geo, he likes shouting and screaming and getting everyone's attention.、Oh. So I think emotionally we're very different. But at school, yeah, primary school, I remember the first few years. It's really tough to make friends if you're really shy. That's true.、Um, did you have the same problem at all? You know, I think I was very talkative when I was younger <laughs> because I was the younger, the youngest.、Oh, wow. um, and I think when you have older siblings. Mm-hmm. You end up、uh, learning how to talk quicker,、sure. and uh, uh, just your vocabulary grows faster. So,、yeah. um, I was very talkative, but I did cry a lot, like you too. <laughs> I was a crybaby, and I it was because I always wanted to be with my mom. So、uh, whenever being she, the youngest as well, <laughs> yeah, I think so.、Um, and you can relate to that, as you said,、sure. you were an only child. But every time my mom left me with another family member, I would just cry, cry, cry. Oh dear! So I was really disliked by many of my family members. Well, I really hope for Gio's sake that he's not like us. He doesn't cry so much when he first goes to school. I、But、hope it will be okay. I hope so too. Is he? Do you think he's very similar to your wife's personality? Then he's got half half, and I think、oh. that's great for kids to take a bit from each parent. Exactly. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. <laughs>